Let's try this problem. So we want the equation of the line in slope intercept form that satisfies the given conditions. So it goes through point uh, negative 12, negative 4, and it's parallel to the line y equals negative 1 third x minus 4. So basically we have some information and we need to write the equation of a line in slope intercept form. So the most important thing with a problem like this is organization. Okay, so I am going to show you three different ways we can do this. All right. And here's the first way. I want you to write new line, okay? And the reason I want you to write new line is because we have this old line here and we don't want to get confused with that. So in our new line, we know it's going through a specific point. So we know a point on the new line, okay? And that is negative 12, negative four, okay? Now, we know it's parallel to the line y equals negative one third x minus four. So if it's parallel to that line, that means it's going to have the same slope, okay? So the slope of this line is negative one-third, which means the slope of our new line is also going to be negative one-third, okay? Because parallel lines have the same slope and um, perpendicular lines, their slopes are the opposite reciprocals of each other, okay? So look at this. Here's our new line, okay? I can even underline it so it's even more obvious. Here's our new line. We have a point and we have a slope. Now, if we have a point and we have a slope, can we write the equation of the line? Yeah. So here's where we have two options. So I'm showing you way one. So way one would be if we want the line in slope intercept form. Okay, we just write out what slope intercept form is. Y equals mx plus b. Okay, and we say, well, I know what my m is. Okay, and I have an x and a y. So basically, I plug in a y, an m, and x, and solve for b. It's that simple. So y is negative 4, and that equals m, which is negative 1 third, times x, which is negative 12, plus b. Okay? So now I'm looking at negative 4 equals negative times a negative is positive. So now we'll just work with the numerator here. 1 times 12 is 12 over 3 plus b, okay? So 12 over 3 is 4. Subtract 4 from both sides, and I end up with negative 8 equals b. So now I have my b, I have my m, okay? And if I want to write it in y equals mx plus b form, I'm good, because I've got Slope intercept form, I should probably use the proper terminology. Uh, slope intercept form, you know, it means that it's, uh, you, have, you see the slope, you see the intercept. That's how you can remember the name of the form. So the slope intercept form will have the slope and the y intercept clearly visible. So here's my y intercept, here's my slope. So I just come right over here and say y equals negative one third x minus eight. Perfect. So that's way one. All right, let's talk about another way we can approach this problem. So the second way to approach this problem. So I didn't erase this and I didn't erase that because they're going to come into play anyways. Okay. So again, organization is key with a problem like this. So we want to know what the equation of our new line is in slope intercept form. So again, the pieces of information I have are a point and the slope. Now, I want to get it in slope intercept form, but the information I have is a point and a slope. So instead what I can do is put it in point slope form and simplify it out to get it in slope intercept form. Okay, so remember, point slope form, point slope form, okay? That is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, okay? So right here I've got my m, and this is my x1, y1. So I'm just going to plug everything in. So y minus y1, which is negative 4, so minus negative 4, equals m, negative 1 third, times x, which is just x, minus x1, so minus, and then x1 is negative 12, okay? Now, just simplify it out to get it in, I'll just write it up here, 
y equals mx plus b form or slope intercept form. That's what we're going for. That's our goal. Okay. So basically, if I just solve for y, get everything on the right hand side, leave uh, y on the left hand side, I'll have it in that form. So this is going to be y plus 4 equals negative 1 third times x plus 12, because remember, minus a negative is adding. Okay. So then I can distribute this in, so I end up with y plus 4 equals negative 1 third x, and negative 1 third times 12 is going to be negative 4, okay? Um, you can rewind a little bit to way 1 where you can see how I did that a little more slowly. Um, and then just subtract 4 from both sides, and we end up with y equals 1, oops, negative 1 third x minus 8, so I'll write it well, over here a little bigger. So y equals negative one third x minus eight. Okay, so again, we get the same answer. Thank goodness, because if we got a different answer, something was wrong. Um, so there you go. Yeah, we just basically, because we had a point and a slope, we put it in point slope form, we simplified it out, and we got the same answer as way one. Okay, so this is also, not only is this another way, but it's also a great way to check. So if you're, on a, if you're taking a test, for example, and you need to know, did I get this correct? Um, this, did I answer this question correctly? What you can do is you can do it these two ways, okay? Now, let's talk about way three. So way three is going to be um, graphing, okay? Now, okay, let's talk about way three. So again, I left that circled and I left this here because we don't need to explain that again. Um, so here we go. We have a point, okay, and our point is negative 12, negative 4. We have a slope, and that slope is negative 1 third. Okay, what we can do also is um, get the equation um, in slope-intercept form uh, by graphing. Now, most likely if you are taking a test on this, your teacher's going to have graph paper in the classroom. And I always used to tell my students, hey, if you want graph paper during a test, you go get it because I'm not gonna tell you what way you should be doing stuff, I just want the answer and I wanna make sure you don't break any math laws while doing it, and as long as you do that, we're good. So sometimes I would have kids, I, when I taught this, I would say, go ahead and use a graph paper, that's great too, you know? So, a piece of graph paper, I should say. Okay, so remember, slope-intercept form, okay? Y equals mx plus b, okay? That means that you need to know, we already know the slope, so we need to know the y-intercept. So basically we need to look at this line, this new line here, and say, well, where does it cross the y-axis? So we're just going to graph it. So um, let's see, it goes to the point negative 12, negative four. Okay, so one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, whoop, 10, 11, 12, and then down four, one, two, three, four, okay? So 12, negative four, okay, so I'm right here, all right? So we're starting there, okay? because we know it's going through that point. And we know what the slope is, which means we can move it according to the slope. We can, we can basically plot other points on this line using the slope. So the slope is negative one over three. Okay, so that means we are going down one and over three, okay? So um, if that, you know, that might not be a good visual. You might be like, what the heck are you doing, okay? So <laughs> what I'll say is we go down one, right three, okay, because that's what a slope of negative one third, remember, rise over run. So because it's negative, it means down, and we're always going right. I always say you're always running right, right? Um, so we're gonna go down one to the right three. Okay, so let's go down one, so now we're gonna be at five, okay, and to the right three. So one, two, three, okay, so we're right here. Okay, and just if we wanna put a little kinda like check mark to know that's where we were, um, if, obviously, if you have a piece of graph paper, it's going to be better because I'm doing this freehand. Okay, still not at the, um, the y-axis yet. So I'm going to go down one again. Okay, down one more and over three more. One, two, three. Okay. Still not there. Okay, so one, two, three. So this is where I left off. Okay, so I'm going to keep going down one and over three until I get where I want to get. Okay, so down one again and then over one, two, three. Okay, still not there yet. Okay, so I'm going to go down one more 
and over three. So remember, one, two, three, I was right here. So now one, two, oh goodness, thank goodness, right on the y-axis, this is perfect. All right, so let's see where we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is negative eight, perfect. So I now know my slope, which is one third. I know my y-intercept is negative eight. So I'm just gonna write this as y equals negative one third x minus eight. Perfect, so that's another way to do it is with graphing. And again, you know, because we have all of these different ways, we can do one way and use one of the other ways to check, right? So perfect, there you go.